Hello everybody, Bruce here with a video on something in Module 2 called Counted Loops. Now, you did see a counted loop in the Chaos program from Module 1, and we're going to dig a little bit deeper into them uh, in this video. Now, what I want you to do is be sure and read all the material uh, for counted loops in Chapter 2 in the textbook, right? It's Section 2.6. Uh, I don't know if this page got updated, but I think that's correct. You'll be able to find it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Visual Studio Code, right? And I am going to close this demo and close. Uh, I actually created the file already called CountedLoopDemo.py. I'm going to close the sidebar. And what I'm going to do is do like I've done before. I'm going to copy some of the code in at a time. So this is what I'm going to copy into Visual Studio Code right here. Okay, that and that. Okay, and what this is going to demonstrate is a counted loop or a definite loop that's going to um, iterate or loop 10 times and print out the current iteration of the loop. It's like me saying, hey, I'm going to go run around the block 10 times, and when I go around each time, I want you to keep count of which loop uh, of me, of Bruce, running around the block that I am on. Uh, I suck at running, too, by the way. Um, so let's break this down, okay? So this is something called a counted loop in Python. You'll see the keywords for the keywords in, right? They are blue, they're keywords. And then we have this function in Python called range. And then you see a number inside of here, all right? And what that's gonna do, this sets up the loop. And oh, and by the way, we have this colon here. And any time you have a colon uh, in the syntax in Python, in the language, the, the way we write it, that means the line, the statement below, or statements below will need to be indented, right? So I'm just going to just show you something here for a second. I'm going to cut this line and pretend I'm typing this as a new program. And it's, I type the colon, and as soon as I hit enter, notice the line below is automatically indented because uh, VS Code, Visual Studio Code, in addition to that Python extension, no that the language and they know that when Bruce typed in that colon there that the next statement below is going to need to be indented all right so what happens is this range thing here is generating a list of numbers 10 numbers it's actually doing this i'm going to put a comment here it's actually doing 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 nine, and that's it, okay? So it starts counting at zero and then ends at nine. And if you count these numbers, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It's 10 numbers. But again, Python, like other computer languages, likes to start counting at zero. So this thing right here, right, this range 10 is actually in its, uh, in, inside of Python, is actually generating a list of numbers, right? Just like when I asked you to count how many times that I was going to run around the block each time, right? And I'm going to say, hey, start counting at zero. So the first time I come around and I give you a high five, right, you're going to say, that's zero, Bruce. And then the next time you're on one, and then the next time two, and finally, when I hear you say eight, I'm going to know that I'm going to have to go around one more time, and that's going to be it, okay? And the other thing, too, here, notice how I put the comment right after. You, you could do that, right? I could put it there, right? Or I can put it right there if I wanted to. But I was showing you about the range thing, so I just wanted to put it there just, just to show you, all right? It's going to be ignored, right? That's for humans. That's for you and me. Okay, so every time this bunch of code on lines 9 and 10 run, right, it's going to increase the, the count, 
right? It's going to start off at zero, and then one, and then two, and three. And this i is a variable. And what this loop does, it says, all right, the first time you loop through, the value of i is zero. The second time you loop through, it's one, and then two, all the way through nine, all right? Now, you don't want to change this variable. Uh, just saying, right? You don't want to add some code in that loop that's going to mess with that iterator, iterator. We call this variable i here iterator, okay? So if I run this code now, run Python file and terminal, there it is, right? The current value of the loop iterator is zero, right? And it goes all the way through to nine, right? So that's 10 times zero through nine, right? So let me clear this out clear on a Mac, CLS on a PC, right? And if I made this, I don't know, two, right? It's gonna be zero, right, one. It's gonna be zero and one, right? So if I made this, this, right, it's gonna, again, this is just a comment. I'm just, this is there for you, uh, the student, right? If I run this now, zero, one, which loop two times, okay? And if I make this one, right? We're going to get one iteration, right? It doesn't make sense to do a loop one time, right? So you're going to want to do, if I do it a hundred times, right? And I run this. Okay, let me get rid of this and not correct. I'm not going to type out those numbers for you. And we run it, right? There it is. All the way, it looped and did something over and over again a hundred times, starting at zero, ending at 99, all right? So that's your, your basic counted loop. And... This thing right here, this range 100, creates something, it actually creates what we call a list of numbers that it's going to iterate through, and we'll learn more about that soon, okay? So I'm going to clear, okay? And now I'm going to go back to Canvas, and I'm going to get the next set of stuff, which is this is the same loop as above using a different variable for the iterator. So the I, right, is a classic way in, in computers, right? Whoops, I missed the hash sign there, right? The I is a classic, it's the default variable we'll typically use when we write a loop. But just know, if you want to change it to another name, like number or grade or Fred or Sam or Joe or, or Joan, you can do that. It's just a variable. It has to be a valid variable, of course. And if I run this code, right, it's going to do the same thing, right? There it is, okay? The iterator number, right? So again, you have complete control of this thing that's going to receive the numbers 0 through 9 in this case, right? And you'll use loops a lot to repeat a process, repeat a bunch of statements over and over again. My examples here have one statement within the loop, but just know that you may have uh, one statement, a thousand statements. It just all depends, okay? So let's comment out this, okay? And let's comment it out. Yeah, there we go, okay? Let's go back to Canvas and get our next set of demo code, okay? So I'm going to copy this stuff right here, and this is a little bit different, right, this code. So let me paste it in here. So you can see it. So check this out. Range has changed. It's got three parameters and they're separated by commas. Bruce, what's going on? And just know here, right, the iterator is called counter, right? It's called counter. And what you can do with the uh, loops is you don't always have to like do zero through whatever, stepping up by one, right? So this one says, start at zero, go to 12, but don't include 12, and step up each time by two, right? Now, you heard me say, but don't include, right? And that's the same thing that's really going on here, right? Right, when I say uh, go 10 times, which is zero through nine, so it goes up through and stops what, right at nine, not 10, so here, right, let me read this back to you. This is going to start counting at zero, go up to 12, but uh, not do 12, right, and go up by two. So it's going to go, what, zero, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, right? So check it out. Ready? Here we go. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, right? If I wanted to go to 
uh, 12, right? If I, if I just make this 13 there, watch this. Ready? Run, Python file and terminal. We did get the 12 because it, it started at zero, it guts, goes up by two, goes, its, goes as far as it can, but doesn't do the, the last number, all right? You got that? I know. You're going to have to, you know, this stuff, uh, you know, it's a little tricky. I mean, it's super tricky. I, I get it, all right? So, uh, yeah, you may need to do that, right? You may need to do certain things. And the last one uh, actually counts down, right? So check it out. Copy, paste. And what this does is starts at 100, goes to negative 1, but doesn't do it, and goes down each time, steps down, decrements the counter 1 each time. So check it out. Ready? Run, Python file and terminal. Wee. So it started at, right, it started at, let's go, I'm scrolling away, starts at 100, steps down by 1 each time, right, and it stops at 0, right, because it doesn't do that number, right? It doesn't get there, right? Okay. If I made this negative two, it will go to negative one. So watch, ready? See, it went to negative one, right? So I'm just going to put this back to negative one and I'm going to make this step down by, I don't know, 25, just because, right? So here we go. 175, 50, 25, zero. So that's, uh, that's, uh, counted loops, you know, uh, uh, in, in a nutshell. And again, if I said, um, actually, let's just do one more example, okay, that's not in Canvas. So if I said to you, right, uh, I want you to ask a user, right, a person for a number five times, right, you can say uh, number, right, in range of five, right, it doesn't matter, right, colon, colon, don't forget the colon, uh, the number, right, equals, and I said a number, and I'll make it a whole number, int, input. I'm going to say, uh, enter a whole number. Uh, enter, enter a, enter an integer, right? There we go. And if I do this, right, it's going to run this statement right here five times. Now, someone said, I heard it, I don't know who it was, right? But they said, Bruce, but you're not using number. You're, you're, you're not using number. And that's right. You don't have to use the iterator number for anything. You, it's just like keeping track of how many times, right, you're getting input. In this case, it's five, right? So ready, run, Python file and terminal. I should have cleared. Actually, let me just do that. Clear. CLS for you Windows people. Ready? So enter a number, blah, 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 and one more. There you go. So you got input from the, uh, the person five times, and you didn't use the iterator number. All right, a lot of stuff in here. Thanks for your patience. Go back, watch it again, watch it in double or triple speed, or slow it down, or ask me to slow down. Um, thanks for watching, and... Uh, Catch you in the next video.